Pisces and Capricorn. What's popping? Pisces, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, this is going to be your love reading. Let's see if we could collect some information here. We have, I can't promise you anything. We have, what is the truth? And it's, why can't I tell you the truth? Okay, so it's all about the truth here. It's like, I can't promise you to tell you the truth. Basically, that's what's going on. Okay, so I can't promise you anything. What is the truth? And why can't I tell you the truth? Right? So it's like you're dealing with a situation with your uh, Pisces or Capricorn. Y'all dealing with a situation where the truth needs to be told. You know, y'all need to be real with each other and speak your truth, no matter how it makes the other person feel. The truth will set you free. I know y'all heard of that quote. So let's hop into it. Let's see what's going on. Let's collect some energy here. We're going to shuffle this deck a little bit. See what's going on inside of this connection with Pisces and Capricorn here. All right, let's put some love and light on it. Blessed be, cut the deck. It's supposed to be real. All right, so let's uh, hop into it here. We got the four swords. We got the eight of pentacles. We have the two of pentacles. We got the death card. We got the three of cups in reverse. No, I ain't called to read that in the reverse. Okay, so we got the three of cups. And last but not least, we have the knight of pentacles. All right, so Pisces and Capricorn. I can't promise you anything comes with the four of swords and the death card, right? So it's like I can't promise you anything because somebody has not recovered, right? Somebody needs to heal from a battle, from a situation, from some trauma, whatever. The change has to be made, right? Somebody has to heal before the transformation in the relationship can be made. So we got what is the truth, right? Because somebody's focused on mastering something here with the Eight of Pentacles. It could be focused on family, friends, you know, celebrations, kicking it, whatever. So somebody focused on something, maybe a third party situation here. We got somebody that's focused on something, right? And they want to know what is the truth. So we got, why can't I tell you the truth, right? We got the two of pentacles. So somebody juggling a situation around, maybe their stability and their emotions here. And then we have this knight of pentacles where somebody's slow to move. Somebody's slow to take action. Somebody's slow to speak the truth around the situation. So let's hop into it, Pisces and Capricorn. Let's see what's, what's going on here. What is this four of swords about? We have the six of wands. Right. So there's a recovery here. Right. Because somebody uh, wants to be successful here and somebody needs to heal and recover from a situation. So I can't promise you anything until I heal and recover. If I don't heal, I can never be successful. Right. So somebody want to be recognized for their success, but they haven't healed from their past traumas or whatever situation. Right. So it's like I can't promise you anything because I'm chasing something. Right? I'm trying to heal and I'm trying to succeed. They focused on this, right? Focused on money, focused on mastering something. All these pinnacles out here, it may be about money, but they want to be successful. They want to be recognized, but this is an unhealed person, right? So let's see, what is this Eight of Pentacles? What is this person focused on here? And then we have the temperance in reverse. So it's like, it's like this person, it, it's like they're focused on, I don't know, it's, it's not like they're trying to balance things out. They're definitely not trying to balance a situation out here. They're definitely not trying to wear no crown either. And they ain't testing their waters. So let's see. What is this person focused on here with the Eight of Pentacles? They're focused on their stability and they're focused on staying away from the chaos and drama. This person wants pure success. They not resting. They not being patient for it. They want it and they want it now here. This person is all about making it for the long haul. They want to set themselves up for life, right? 
And that's by all means necessary. Whoever, whether it's you or the Capricorn, somebody has not healed from their past. And they're not trying to heal from their past. They're trying to get this money. They're trying to have success. They're trying to be recognized for something else, right? And they and they juggling this situation because they're in a relationship. And they just can't seem to be honest about what they're doing and what they really want, right? So it's like they're trying to juggle this situation around. They need to make a decision. But they're juggling the situation around between their stability and their emotions when it comes to a relationship. So let's see. What is this two of pentacles here? And we have the devil, the Capricorn energy. Capricorn really showing up in this reading. They're showing up and they're taking over, right? Because it's like, okay, I can't, I can't promise you anything because I'm, I'm, I'm on this success trip. I'm on this high horse. I'm on this power trip, right? I'm trying to get this money or whatever it is, and I'm focused on that, right? I ain't trying to heal. I ain't trying to balance things out. I ain't trying to test my waters. I'm strictly focused on what I'm trying to build, right? And with the King of Wands. I don't give a damn about no chaos. I don't give a damn about no drama. My main priority and focus is having a long-lasting success. Yes, I want to be in a relationship, but I ain't ready to take responsibility for the relationship. So I'm really juggling this. You know, I'm really juggling this, and I want it to go my way or no way, right, with the devil. My way or no way, right? But there's changes that has to be made here with the death card. The healing has to happen in order for the transformation to happen. And that may be something one of you are lacking, right? The reason you so focused and trying to get somewhere and can't get there is because you're not living in your truth. You're not being honest with the person you dragging with you. You have to be honest about what's going on in order for the change to happen, right? So let's see, what is this change? What is this transformation here for Pisces and Capricorn? And we have the Ace of Cups. Somebody got to start showing love. Somebody got to start showing love and affection towards another person instead of towards the finer things in life, right? Somebody got to start being more emotional here or showing them here. Showing the person that you love them. That will give you success as well here. So let's see. What is this Three of Cups here? We have the Eight of Cups. Hmm. I feel like somebody ready to walk away from their whole family. Somebody's not fulfilled with the way things are. Somebody's not happy here, right? Because they're not happy. So let's see this Knight of Pentacles. And we got the Queen of Cups in reverse. Whoo-wee. So it's like this Knight of Pentacles is so focused on their own plans, their own thing, that they're not nurturing their relationship. They so caught up in what they caught up in. They're not focused on the relationship. They're not nurturing the relationship. And that's why somebody's feeling unfulfilled and empty. Because, see, the only way... The universe is telling me the only way to save this relationship is for somebody to start showing some genuine, unconditional love. And until genuine, unconditional love is shown, you know, the family can't grow. The situation can't be nurtured. You know, the healing has to take place in order for success over the relationship. But you got somebody that's really focused on their money, their finances and what they have to do. Right. Right. So let's see what's crossing it. And we have the King of Cups here. So this is someone who needs to be understanding of other people's emotions. You know, someone who needs to become emotionally mature. So I hope this resonated with somebody. Let's get a word from the Chakra Wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. And we have the second chakra, and this is the sacral chakra, and this one is relevant to sensuality. Wow, that card keeps flying out my hand. Okay, I encourage myself to express my sensuality and emotions creatively 
using all my faculties, including touch, voice, actions, and creative abilities such as arts, crafts, music, acting, cooking, gardening, and writing. I practice being aware of and enjoying my senses being nourished and stimulated by the natural world, such as by landscapes, people, weather, animals, aromas, and sounds. So sensuality is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. Pisces and Capricorn, this is all I have. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.